Okay. We're eating okay, candy. Good. I brought Justin Jefferson some candy. That's good right now. Mm, I got finished. Good. Like, mm -hmm. no, what, that, oh. what is your favorite candy? I like Skittles. Yeah, what Skittles color color Skittle. Gotta go with the, the purple. The purple pack. Pro black. I'm with you, bro. Best pack. I'm with you. All right, so we talked a little candy. First football question is, I know there's an adjustment. What is the adjustment the receivers talk about? Is it certain routes? Is it scramble drill? Is it certain areas of the field that you got to work more when you got a new guy? I feel like it's just more about the chemistry. Uh, just having that chemistry with a new person is very difficult, especially when you're only having like a week, two yeah. weeks to prepare with them. Uh, you know, I mean, I always bring up, you know, just the, uh, the deal with me and Kirk, you know, just having Kirk with me for, you know, four years, you know, that's, that's, that's a hard chemistry to really come up on and, and really have right away, especially with a new, a new person. So, um, just having, having that conflict all last year, having to deal with a new quarterback, don't know who's going to be the starter, uh, the, the week of, yeah. uh, so it's definitely difficult, but I would say like the, the timing and the chemistry of, you know, where, where I'm going to be at, at what speed, at what timing, I feel like it's, it's more difficult. Sam's got a little play extension. Yes, he do. Is that something that's fun to see? Fun to see. Uh -huh. I mean, he, he can extend the play, and those are the plays that you score on. Yeah. You know, the, those scramble drills, those off, off, uh, off guard plays, that's the ones you love. When they scramble out the pocket and make a play downfield, and uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the way you get the yardage, that's where you get the, the Ex extreme uh, plays that we all love. Yeah. So, I mean, to see that in practice, I, I can't wait to see it in, in, in game time. How lucky are you to have Keenan Cardell? Like through your whole tenure here or almost? Uh, almost. Uh, he's been here with me for what? Going on three years now? Yeah. Going on three. I mean, he's been a, a big help. Uh, I mean, as soon as we got KO and we kind of had the, the coaching change, you know, when there's a coaching change, everybody's new. You know, he get uh, all new coaches, all new uh, strength and conditioning coaches. So um, I said, I said the one thing that I want, any anything that I ask for is one thing I want is to have Coach Keenan back with us uh, that, the next year. And uh, you know, luckily he he uh, gave us that that uh, wish, and uh, we had Keenan for. Then it's an hour, but uh, I mean, to have that seven year vet into our room, someone that knows the game, been through the game, knows the system, knows how we feel yeah. mentally, physically. Uh, so to, to have him and coach me through the different things, because I'm not the most perfect receiver. I still have things that I need to work on and uh, things that I need to uh, get better at. So for him to be that coach for me and to, you know, teach me different things and to, to be on me uh, to, it, it's, it's definitely very helpful. Where do you get this from, man? Because this, I'm not putting down wide receivers, but you know, there's the whole stereotype of diva and that sort of thing. Like, you're a dog, bro. Like, say that. Like, you play like a dog, you work like a dog, sure. everybody in this building loves you like you were a yeah. Mike linebacker. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, you have that, where did you get the, the edge or your work ethic or just the way yeah. you are? I mean, just that's just how I came up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, first of all, just with my parents. Uh, I mean, I live with both my parents my whole entire year. I mean, my whole entire life. Uh, they always taught me to be humble and be grateful for what I have and uh, from where I came from. Uh, and that's kind of what I try to keep inside my, my mind every time I set foot on this field or outside these doors. Uh, it doesn't matter how much money I have or fame I have. Um, I'm still Justin at the end of the but day. You don't so. spend it either. Nah, nah. I try. I try my hardest not to, unless it's some jewelry or something. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, that's. I mean, I, I've always been about this football. I mean, I, I do all my talking out here on this field and 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 just enjoy my time. Uh, I mean, I know that a lot of people don't get these opportunities to be out, out here on this field and grinding and doing what the thing that I do. Uh, the thing that I love to do most, I kind of have that in the back of my head when I when I think about things. You know what I think about when I watch you is the the the, the easy stuff is never boring to you, right? <laughs> because you'll kill people on a five yard out. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, we'll get twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 talk to me about how you think about route running because. Shit, I don't know anything about route running. <laughs> but it kind of seems like pass rush to me. At for sure, times. for sure. And I think you're really great at getting off the line as well as never having those first five steps look any different. Exactly. No matter where you're going. Exactly. And it kind of reminds me of being a rusher. Right. 
think about it that way and where do you get your inspiration on your on your releases um yeah um, I, I definitely have to shout out uh, my coach in uh, at lsu jerry sullivan yeah uh, he's he's the guru of, of receiver coaches uh but he really taught me how to how to perfect my craft uh, just technique wise uh being patient uh throughout the route uh being handsy at the line of scrimmage with just one-on-one -on -one press uh but he he really taught me how to how to have that full work how to really take every step uh and and, and be technical uh that's kind of that's kind of how everything really started when I got to LSU and I really was really under him and being able to really listen to him and, and grasp all the information that I that he was giving me. But uh, watching Keenan Allen, watching Devontae Adams, uh, those are my two favorite. Adams, awesome. he's got a bag. Crazy bag. Crazy bag. Uh, His bag is big. Yeah. You got a big bag, and I, I like taking all I can out of it. Yeah. <laughs> is everybody young you watch now that you're like, he's next? For sure. Um, I think Malik Neighbors is going to be. He's been like tough. In practice. Oh, yeah. He's been killing it in practice. I'm, oh, I'm excited to see. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see what he do. You know, LSU guy, we got a root for him, uh -huh. of course. But uh, somebody else, uh, I like Tank Dell. I like Tank Dell. I think Tank Dell is going to be crazy, especially with CJ Stroud. Uh, then him, and then him being under Stephon Diggs, I think he's going to uh, learn a lot, you know, just how to run routes, how to be uh, available on the field. Uh, they got a lot of guys, man. Speedy, Speedy for us is going to be a, a, a big time. Yeah, who's going to surprise somebody this year? Speedy, Speedy, 100%. I mean, Speedy has been making it. Government, government name for people that might not know? <laughs> Jalen Naylor. Okay. Jalen Naylor. <laughs> A.K.A. Speedy. A.K.A. Speedy. <laughs> All right. So we got one or two more here. The, the one that's going to, because you know it's a Philly podcast. So you should play for the birds and. I talked to Harrison about 2017. He was like, we thought we were going to whoop y'all. But y'all got us back soon after because we had a shot at you. Not me. I wasn't there anymore. And they drafted somebody else. Yeah. And I know you don't seem like a native type. But you think about it much? You think about places like Philly? 100%. Um, I mean, every single mock draft had me going to Philly. Uh, I mean, I definitely talked to Philly during yeah. that process. And... I was very confident that I was going to Philly uh, if I didn't get picked up before then. But, uh, I mean, once Philly was on the board and I got that Minnesota call, you know, I was, I was, I was happy to be drafted, you know, I, and I was, I was excited to be working with Kirk and excited to be working with Adam. And uh, I, I knew that I was going to be uh, having to fill the role, you know, with, with Diggs leaving. So I, 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 I liked the opportunity that I had here. Uh, but I definitely, I definitely kept it on the back shoulder and, and, and definitely kept it with me throughout my, throughout my, uh, my career. No so question. <laughs> one of the best in the game, one of the coolest dudes we've met, man. Justin Jefferson. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Sure. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right, cool. As promised, we, we just, we, we don't pick one tackle. We just interview both tackles. Yeah. And, and in, in, in my opinion, you guys are right up there at the top of the league as far as the tackle duo. Do you guys see that? And who are the other duos that you really like? Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely see that. Uh, I yeah, think we're the best. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, I like the tackles on uh, Detroit. Yeah. I think Philly got two, two studs as well. Um, but I definitely feel like we're up there at the top of the conversation. Yeah, we asked the Philly guys last week, and I think they said, you know, look at the guys in Minnesota, too. So, so, so yeah, they gave some love, man. I uh, think uh, Houston's pretty good, too. Oh, because, yeah, you got Tussle, and then who's the other guy? Titus Howard. Titus, because they Titus played Howard. him inside. Like, yeah, when uh, a guard got hurt, they moved him and yeah. had George Fan. But I don't think LT gets the love he deserves. He does not get the love he deserves, bro. And I don't know why that is. Did y'all hit it off right away? Yeah, I got drafted here. Uh, they set my locker up right next to me. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of like a day one thing. Um, I've been picking his brain since I got here. And uh, it's definitely a, a great luxury to have him yeah. um, playing in this position. Such a long time, me coming in as a rookie, yeah. uh, getting started on the left side, but having him every single way, man, it's been, it's been great. Bro, what was it like when he came in as a rookie? Would you, did, was he rough around the edges? Did you have to calm him down sometimes? Bro, he didn't speak. <laughs> he didn't. Perfect rookie. <laughs> he didn't speak. <laughs> we get to the rookie dinner and he goes, run it up. Hey, 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 uh, he yeah. did all the shit. What was the tally on the rookie dinner? Yeah. 13,000. Well, you just got yeah, paid, so you got to take him out again. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, no that's doubt. true. Yeah. So what, what was the first big purchase? So I got I got myself a car. I mean, I 
nice. Yeah. I didn't even know they made those. Yeah, that should be in the record. You, you got the stars, stars on the ceiling? Not yet, not yet. We're it's working on that. It's getting wrapped this week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so it's only been two minutes, and I'm going to ask you this. What was it like? And do you do you still think about it a lot, being the one tech team that found a way to lose to Virginia in the last two years? <laughs> it, it hurts, man. Just... Especially with it being in Charlottesville too, <laughs> having the fans just on the field and, and us into the street, it, it was definitely. They had a vice grip on it. Yeah. I don't know if you ever talked about this, but it was bad. It, I mean, zero and four, zero for four for me, yeah. and what fifteen, twenty years in a row, and then one year we, we actually ended. ended. Yeah, I never lost to Virginia in my career. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, all right. So you're you're a guy with an edge. We talked about this. Who's a guy on the defensive line that you guys have played? that you respect the edge they play with. Uh, nice. Crowd, I was about to say the same thing. Yes. Um, and, and Miles Garrett as well. Yeah, uh, we just came from Cleveland. Yeah. And I never faced him. Uh, was that like, yeah. yeah, it was, it was it's intense. Because he's like up here, right? Exactly. Like he's, he's, he he's can do biggest, everything. Yeah. He's wide. He'll bend the corner down here. In the corner. And then, yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it was impressive. But uh, definitely getting to, get to uh, work against him, man. It was it was great work. But him or Crosby, for sure. Bro, he can take one step. And be behind you two, like yeah, yeah. like one step, he's fucking two inches off the ground. Yeah, always, yeah. off the ball. You see that shit? Yeah. He's, he's in front of the yeah, chair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that like when you're old lineman and you see that coming out of your face? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hot potato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get it out quick. Oh. Hot potato takes a little long to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 you gotta have a fucking ball. Fire, fire. <laughs> hey, when we had Kirk, he said like there's a couple times I got beat early in the rush. Be like Kirk, Kirk. I think I heard you say Kirk in 2019, dude. That's so funny, dude. But I got to play you early, and I knew you were going to be damn good. Like you just, you just, you just a pro. Like you just have all the tricks in the trade. You had a early. Who helped you along when you were here and you were a young guy? Uh, in the game. First one was Riley Reef. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iowa played for 12 plus years. First round pick to Detroit. Stud forever. I remember my first couple weeks. I'm at practice and I'm sitting on my helmet. He looks at me and says, hey, I'm not telling you to get up, but they pay you a lot of money to look like a pro. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Hey, that's a pretty damn yeah. big brother. So I was like, oh, man. Yeah, uh, sure. But we got Harrison Smith, who's been here yeah, he's super for bad. 13 years. Yeah. Anthony Barr, when I was coming up. I came into a vet-heavy team, like you guys know. Right, yeah. Like you guys had in Philly right. at the end. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. What, what's the biggest adjustment like for d And We never had to think about it. We just consumed y'all's calls. We never had to make it. What's the hardest thing communication-wise with a new quarterback? Or in your situation, before JJ got hurt, it was like two quarterbacks. Now you know you're rolling with Sam, but is it just the cadence or is it a whole host of other communication issues that you got to work through when you got a new one? I think the biggest one's cadence. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we got the smartest center in the game. Yeah, I feel like uh, with Garrett, uh, he, he runs the show. Yeah, he's telling us everywhere to go. But yeah, definitely probably this on the cadence. So yeah. getting on the same page with that, uh, this might be the biggest thing. But yeah, did you guys have to go through a lot of that last year? Because it was Dobbs, it was Hall, it was uh, Mullins. Like I couldn't keep track. Uh, obviously, it's not how you. We couldn't the Falcons either. game. <laughs> Tell about the Falcons. Bro, the Falcons game had to be the craziest yeah. game I've ever seen. <laughs> so we learned this. We learned the cadence on the sideline when we find out he's going. In. He got there Thursday, and then. So we're just going no huddle, and KO is calling the play to him in the headset, and he's like, "Hey, the X has got a slant, he has got to go, and the F has an out. Just call it on one, ready, break." Man. So you went on one the whole game. Yeah, so, it was silent, so silent one. Anybody pick up on that? Play is Campbell pick yeah, up on it. He's like all the smartest. Yeah. yeah. Right. Some of those conversions in the red zone in that game. I mean, you were just like, "This is going to be magic." I don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah. What was it like rallying behind Josh and watching it kind of fizzle towards the end? But like. What you guys did, that run was really memorable, even if you didn't make the playoff. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was kind of like a double-edged sword, sword with a quarterback that mobile because you don't always know where he's going to be. There's some quarterbacks you know where they're going to be. So in the pocket, you can set accordingly. And then there's some guys who you don't know where he's going to be. But at the same time, he's going to run around and make plays off schedule uh-huh. and get out of stuff, right? So it's like, they're long for you guys yeah. To it out. Right. So you kind of just had to ride with it and yeah. walk and it's good. What's the, what's the importance of outside zone with you guys getting on the perimeter and setting up everything you guys do? And what's the key to being proficient in that area of you guys? I feel like front side, just uh, setting it. It's not, not not allowing that in to set the edge. Yeah. Um, it's allowing the back to set a track. Yeah. Because it, it kind of helps the guys inside to, to set the Start with it down to work to the backer again. Yeah. The running backs, he's going to set it up. Uh, as long as we're creating space on the edge and allowing that back to keep it strapped, 
Um, it, it's always going to be a plus yardage. So. What's your favorite block today? I like, so I'm a left tackle, 17. 17. 17 you know, we call it 17 Wanda. Yeah. And I'm just going to spin the edge on that defense end. Yeah. And, yeah, that's my only That's job. where I see you. Yeah, you see your eyes. see the light of the butter. Yeah. yeah. Inside, inside arm. Yeah. Cross them out the club. Hell yeah. How about you, bro? You, you got a favorite block? I'm probably more an outside zone guy. Like, right. I like running a little bit more. Yeah. But you know what I miss is when O linemen used to pull and get downfield on screens. We can't cut anymore. Yeah. Yes, I'm happy. That makes sense. And you know what? Usually, I'm very pro defense, but in that situation, I feel like it's a little fucked. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a little fucking. Well, well, the DBs can't cut you guys down. True. Yeah. But it was easy. If they came and cut, you just yeah. dive on the ground. You're good. Right. Yeah. What, what do you? What do you? Kirk's gone. This isn't me trying to pull anything out as far as what's going to be different, but like, say something about Kirk, you know, for people that, that wouldn't know what kind of teammate he was or his chapter in Minnesota here, I thought was a little bit undervalued. Yeah, I mean, just, I think people saw it in the quarterback deal on Netflix, just how much of a dude he was, where the media gets one portrayal of somebody and as a franchise quarterback, he kind of put on the shirt and tie, so to say, but when the cameras came on and you saw he was a, he was a, he had a little bit more shit to him. How about the chains? The yeah. chains were awesome. Is that a fun, that was a fun run? That was a fun run for sure. Who's chains were there? they? Uh, it was mine. It was your chain? <laughs> yeah, for sure. How much was that chain worth? I ain't even gonna say it. I'm gonna talk to you off point. No, but yeah, that I lost one of my teammates chains. How? I was drunk. Oh, it was, it was at the pool. That's not gonna happen with Kurt, you know? Yeah, but he gave absolutely. You, yeah. Exactly. Well, you were in yeah. that. You're you gotta know who to give your chain to, and I would not have been the guy to give a chain to because I was gonna end up. Yeah, making that problem. All right. So this year, what should fans be most excited about watching this Minnesota team? What's gonna be different that you're really excited about? Outside of uh, number eighteen, yeah. I think Aaron Jones is a hell of a player. Yes, absolutely. and we're really fired up to see him. Some of the cuts he's been making in practice are special. Yeah. And he's an all-time locker room dude. Yeah. In like three weeks, yeah. like the man, his little son, yeah. Junior, yeah. running around. I mean, all, all yeah, right. right. And you're like, why? Well, we kind of get why everybody loved him in Green Bay. Right. Right. Well, hey, I hope you guys have a great year, man. It's fun to watch y'all. Glad we don't have to line up across the series. Uh, good luck this year and hope you come back again. Appreciate it.